Say hi. Hi. <laughs> a little shy, but if you grab that mic like he knows what he's doing. And I want to talk to you guys because Nathan, you have cystic fibrosis. So Patrick, you're his dad, obviously, and you find out at 10 weeks old that he has cystic fibrosis. Walk me through that process. So you know he has a rash in his body, is what I'm told. And you're like, what's going on here? So you bring him to the doctor, and they tell you that he has cystic fibrosis. Ten weeks old. Take me back to that moment. It actually hit me hard. It was I was at work, and my wife called, and uh, oh man, it just my heart sunk. I, I didn't know the full effects of what it was, and but they, when we actually found out what it was, they said it was terminal and it was not curable. Uh, man, so we just we looked to God. That's the only thing we could do. I mean, it, we were so happy to have this child. And, find that out, it was like, it was just heartbroken. So, you're heartbroken, obviously, like you just said. What provided you hope? Because, you know, things obviously look better and better for cystic fibrosis. It's a lung disease, and it doesn't really kick in, from what I understand, until you're older. And I think I read that the average lifespan is 37. So as a dad, I mean, how difficult is that? But what, what is giving you hope? Well, each case is an individual case, so there's, there's, there's not, you can't count on that 37 years. So there's, we know kids that are dying at seven, and mm -hmm. older, in their teens. But um, he had a rough first three years of his life. It was, I mean, he had salmonella, he had C diff a few wow. times. He's had the bowel blockage, and he's had, he has a feeding tube now. He, he was below the zero percentile when he was one year old, and. Uh, the doctors in Tucson saying he might not even live to be 10. So How old is he today? He's seven and a half, he's mm -hmm. almost eight, he's going strong. We expect him to live fully, way past seven, or way past 10, I'm sorry. He looks like he's a good looking boy. He's been him. really he's good gone. lately. And I see you got him his Star Wars sh uh, shirt on, which, yeah. you know, I love Star Wars. Everybody so loves everybody that shirt. Does, so that's awesome. So Nathan, let me talk to you. You're here a lot at Phoenix Children's Hospital, aren't you? Uh-huh, yeah, I am. So, you were here, how long did it take you to get here? You guys live down in Tucson, right? Um, yeah, and well, it takes two hours of drive to get there. But you don't think that's a big deal because you've got books to read in the car, right? Uh, well, today I'm not here. <laughs> Why not? Why only today? Well, I think you that it would take a long drive at home. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Do you like coming to Phoenix Children's Hospital? Mm -hmm. Why do you like coming here? Because of all the cool lights and all the fancy stuff? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's pretty cool in here, isn't it? Because it's it the High Five Hospital. There's a hand on that. What's Very nice. Mind? Say that again. Say that again we in the call mic. It the High Five Hospital. Why do you call it the High Five Hospital? Because we get to the, the building, there's a big hand on the outside. So him and, and my wife, they call it the High Five Hospital. Um, that was so I could understand where we were going when I was a little kid. So... When you come in here, what do you feel like? Do you feel sad? Do you feel kind of happy because you get to give high fives and see all the cool lights? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, talk to me about what Phoenix Children's Hospital and the Ronald McDonald House in particular mean to you and me to Nate. Well, Phoenix Children means everything to us because, like I said, he was, he was hurting so much. We switched his character since he was one year old and he's over seven now, so... The quality of care is just great. Um, he's able to have his individual room to himself and not to share it with other patients. Which is awesome. And this is very important for CF kids, cystic fibrosis patients, because of the transference of, mm -hmm. of the germs and organisms. They don't want to get cross contamination. So yeah. it's very important. All right. Now, we're here for one particular reason. We're trying to raise money for so you can stay here and so other other little kids like you can stay here. Can you help me give out this phone number here? 602-933-4567. Excellent. Wow. You got one. Woo. Nathan, you're very brave. We're glad to have you here today. Thanks so much.